I'm Stuart Stevens. I want to invite you to a class, Five Things I've Learned About the Conspiracy to End America. It's free, and I hope you'll join. For almost three decades, I was a Republican political consultant, making ads for Republican candidates. I worked in five presidential elections and helped elect governors and senators in over half the country. In 2019, I, I left my consulting firm because I was no longer really able to work for Republicans in good faith. I joined the Lincoln Project, and I wrote a book called It Was All a Lie, How the Republican Party Became Donald Trump. When Trump was first elected in 2016, you know, I had a lot of friends in the party. They would say that Donald Trump hijacked the party. And, you know, the honest truth is I really wanted to believe that. But it didn't make any sense to me. When a hijacker takes over a plane, he's not popular on the plane. And Donald Trump was and is immensely popular in the Republican Party. The party is a Donald Trump party. And I think what's really important to understand that we're going to talk about is that Donald Trump didn't change the party. He revealed the party. I think that's the only intellectually honest conclusion to come to. People don't abandon deeply held beliefs in a few years unless there's some intervening event. But that didn't happen. And I think it shows that a lot of what we said that we believed in as a party turned out to be nothing more than marketing slogans. I wrote a book this year called The Conspiracy to End America, Five Ways My Old Party is Driving Democracy to Autocracy, because I thought it was really important to look at each of these as a whole and how they interact and play against each other. We talk about them individually, but I don't think we talk enough about them together and their impact. Whenever a democracy slides into autocracy, there's always five critical elements that work together. And you see them all today in American politics, and they're all growing in power and influence. And we're gonna talk about them in this class, but let's just run down with who the, what they are real quick. Propagandist. Well, I mean, look at the media landscape of America. The autocratic movement has got tremendous propagandists. Fox News is just really the tip of the iceberg. You need the support of a major party. And the Republican Party has become the Trump Party. The 2020 official Republican debate platform was whatever Donald Trump wanted, which you had to work in the party and understand these fights that we had over the platform to understand just how extraordinary that is. It is his party. You need financiers. And the party has unlimited money, basically. Um, and it's more useful now than ever since Citizens United. You need legal theories to legitimize what you're doing. And this is really important. And it's something we don't talk enough about. You know, after the uh, January 6th insurrection, 46 states introduced separate legislation to change how those states voted. And this is continuing. It's going on every day. It's mostly below the radar screen, but the total impact of it is an effort to curate the election and to change how we pick candidates in America and how we run a democracy and whether or not we can still call it a democracy. If Georgia passes a law that says that the state legislature can overturn the popular vote, when the state legislature overturns the popular vote, it's gonna be perfectly legal. And lastly, you need shock troops. We saw those shock troops on January 6th. You saw them when Donald Trump was calling out to the Proud Boys to be ready in a debate in 20. They hang around the fringes of uh, Trump debates. There are these shock troops that are ready to be called, uh, to be used as necessary uh, and needed in their efforts to bring a democracy, uh, autocracy to America. And, you know, for me, I, this isn't really theoretical. I know these people. Jason Miller was my intern. And as bad as you may think they are, they're worse. But they're not stupid. There are buffoonish people in the Republican Party, the Matt Gates, the Marjorie Taylor Greens. But the heart of the movement is very serious. They are confident. They're well organized. And they believe they're going to win. So I hope you'll join me in this class. Uh, five things I learned about the efforts to 
change democracy to autocracy. We are at the edge now of what I think without a doubt is going to be the most important election of our lifetime. Certainly the most important in America since 1860. And we need to look at it and talk about it. And most importantly, talk about what we can do to defeat it. So I hope you'll join me. This class is free and uh, look forward to seeing you.